Facebook, everything seems to be working. And we're going to launch into this thing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the daily bread project.com. Your daily dose of light coming to you at 10 a.m. Eastern on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Usually we have guests, but things are changing a little bit. So let's talk about Rockefeller, one of the great American titans. He built up Standard Oil and dominated the oil industry. And back then when, when they were first figuring out how they could use crude oil, well, they couldn't even use it. They had to refine it, but they, they found the resource in the ground. They were pulling it out of the ground, and then they had to refine it and find uses for it. Everybody that got into that business at the very beginning made tons of money. Just hand over fist money. They were rich, extremely rich. And the thing that was different about Rockefeller than all those other people who got into the oil business at that time was vision. Rockefeller saw there was a future, a bigger future for oil. While everybody else was practicing this let's get rich quick idea, Rockefeller was thinking bigger, thinking how he could put pieces together and make oil something huge. And that's what separated him from everyone else was his vision. He saw the bigger picture. That and the other part that was super interesting, I'm reading the biography right now. That's what I'm talking about, Rockefeller. I'm a fan of, of the vision the guy had. But the other thing that he did was he shortcutted his success by buying companies. So two different things there. But the vision was, was that oil had a future. While everybody else was practicing getting rich quick, Rockefeller was setting a foundation for future wealth. That long picture thinking is what made him the richest man in the world at that time. And that's why we still know his name today. So why are we talking about Rockefeller on the dailybreadproject.com? Simple. It's a matter of vision. A matter of long-term thinking. And when we started the Daily Bread Project, I didn't know what it was going to be. I just felt called to bring you the light. I wanted to give you a safe spot to get some goodness, to get some positivity, to get some power, to help you through your day as things were going crazy. And I thought that's all this would be. And I showed up and did the work to deliver it to you. To my surprise, this project has taken on a life of its own. And, um, now I'm seeing the vision. I'm seeing that this is a bigger picture. And it reminds me of, of what's going on all over. I saw a lot of people jump on the bandwagon of, of daily lives and were showing up. And a lot of that has faded out already. They were just jumping in to get those eyeballs. And I have a bigger vision. I see this as the future of what I'm doing here at the Podcast Factory, what we do with our clients, and what podcasting can be. And so I'm going to change some things because originally we're just doing this thing live every day, 10 a.m. Eastern, and my whole day is built around it. And I knew that wasn't sustainable. So now we're going back and re-engineering to make this sustainable, make it something for the long term, build a good foundation. Because I have enjoyed this project. I have learned so much and I feel compelled to keep bringing you the light. Leadership in good and hard times. And that's why I want to set a foundation here. That's why I'm using the Rockefeller thinking. What are the things that we can do to add longevity, add a good foundation to make this something that is bigger? And that's what we're working on. So next week, we're going to do business as usual, 10 a.m. Eastern. We're going to bring you lives uh, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. After that, we are going to shut down for a minute. And one thing is I'm taking a, uh, taking a week off. It's a little overdue. Uh, taking a week off to recharge. The family and I are taking a week off, getting away from 
this what, what seems like a beautiful home can turn into a prison when you're stuck here for over two months. So we're getting away. We're going to recharge. We're going to regroup and we're going to rebuild the Daily Bread Project from the ground up. I'm not sure if we're still going to be doing lives every day. In fact, I'm pretty sure we won't be. We're going to focus more on the podcast aspect of bringing it daily to the podcast app. So if you're subscribed and you're listening in iTunes, Google, Stitcher, all of that will remain the same. The only difference is we're likely not going to be doing lives. Also hiring on a team member to help. Because if you guys didn't know this, I was booking all the appointments, writing all the copy, uh, recording all the shows, doing all the uploading, and that's not sustainable. And that's why we have to go back and regroup and figure out what are the pieces that we need to get in the hands of our team so that we can continue bringing you the light daily, four days a week. And we're going to regroup. It's going to take about two weeks. So next week, business as usual. Then we're going to have about two weeks off, and we're going to be coming back around the end of June, maybe the beginning of July, and we're going to go full force. So yeah, some things are changing, but I'm going to tell you what really surprised me. I love the conversations that I'm having here. It's really changed my perspective on many things, including how to use a podcast. And I'm already talking to our clients about different ways to leverage some of what I've learned here on the dailybreadproject.com to amplify their businesses, amplify their results. And I already see some of them taking action. Yeah, I'm talking to you. See some of them taking action on the lessons. And that's, that's something that as a leader, I like to be on the front lines. I want to take the arrows before my team gets there. I want to be upfront and know what's going on so that I can lead them to victory. And that's what this is about. I actually have decided in this time, uh, if you guys don't know this, I was doing the Daddy's Working podcast. I think it's 50, 60 episodes over a year, year and a half of episodes. And I love the concept of Daddy's Working. That was the second iteration of it. And uh, I'm putting that on hiatus to focus on the Daily Bread Project because that is how important I know this is. And so I wanted to give you guys a heads up of what's going on, let you know that next week is business as usual. We'll continue the lives for next week. And then we're going to be off around two to three weeks as we rebuild and make this thing sustainable. So all of you guys that have supported me, thank you. We're going to come back stronger. And uh, make sure that you go back and listen to some of these episodes, share them. Uh, and, and you can see like sound quality and all those kinds of things. We were just getting the message out. Now I want to get the message out and make it loud and clear, put a little bit of polish on it, make it something a little more up to the podcast factory standards. And that's why we're going back to rebuild, to make sure the team is involved, to make sure the product we're putting out is tight, to make sure we have high quality uh, audio, because uh, I've noticed that the audio isn't always the best, but it was about the message. It was about action, imperfect action trumps. Met, or, or as Doberman Dan used to say, movement over meditation. And that's what this was, a practice of movement, a practice of putting it out there, seeing how it worked. And now it's time to refine. Now we have a bigger vision and we are going to build the foundation for that vision. And I look forward to your continued support on the dailybreadproject.com. Thank you guys for tuning in and we'll be back next week.